We're gonna cook it up to show See, you. See, I, I want to take my how. dogs hunting, bro. Look at queso out here eating some some bear macaroni, nigga. Living the life out there in Kentucky and shit. A good black bear can taste. Now to begin this adventure, I had to wake up at two o'clock in the morning and head all the way out to West Virginia to meet up with my buddy Kirk Price before daylight. Kirk. For the past 400 years, Kirk has been building and training his pack of dogs to hunt. Is them beagles, bear, nigga? Mountain lions and even. What up, dogs? Them is I'm pretty sure it's safe to say we're in pretty good hands for this trip. Step one is to get back in the woods, and this is where we dropped out the dogs and let them get stretched out. All right, guys, we are officially in West Virginia, and we are in the woods. <laughs> How many dogs you got here today? We've Bro. got five grown dogs and one pup, which I'm loading in now. What kind of breed are these? They're a Kemp breed. That's what they're called. Uh, they're a walker and a fox sound or a running walker cross. Interesting. So they can smell the bear. Do beagles still exist? Ground, fat ass little Absolutely. fucking. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. How fast are we moving? Uh, I don't really like to go more than 10 miles an hour. That's, so probably around that's pretty eight, good. six to eight. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna drive around this morning up here on these ridge tops and all these good roads and rig around. By rigging, it just means uh, the dogs are gonna go around and what hound, bears, nigger so hound. Bear. When they smell a bear, we'll let them off the top, let them do their thing. Go chase it down tree. That's right. And this was our strategy Yo, start what? off the morning. But that's OP. They got snipers though. They ain't go all the way up in the tree. They're just gonna snipe down. After nigga. driving around for a little bit, we didn't strike up on a bear, so we moved on to the second way you can hunt dogs. All right, what are we doing now? All right, so uh, we're gonna get the dogs off. We just rigged out this ridge here and didn't do any good. Now we're gonna get the dogs off and uh, walk them out here. See He's if, gonna uh, sniff them out. Excited on me. See if we can't uh, get one going. So I'm gonna kind of free cast them and walk with them. This is especially effective whenever you have an area you know is pretty thick in bears, and when you want to hunt an area you can't get your truck. Are you gonna add 7 TV to kick? I think I thought I did. And the other way to hunt your dog Fuck. is to I will soon. Where instead of next, up on next the dog box, you put them out in the road in front of you and just drive with them road hunting in front of the truck. Kirk likes to road hunt his dogs on the way out of an area where he already rig hunted them in. Just in case the dogs are able to pick up something that they weren't able to whenever they back on the rig. And this time, that's exactly what happened. The dog showed it just in an area. Bro, fucking dogs are so smart. Dogs are so cool, chat. Dogs are so interesting. I think I'll never not be obsessed with dogs. You can see where it is. something's walked up right here. They're trailing it. Right? Uh huh. They're trailing it right now. Now, baby's just excited. She's going into them, but Bliss and brother are, are truly trailing it. Right there. Open it up. Yeah, they're starting up. Right now, it's all on them. All right, so what we're doing now, we're going to take off this little stubby antenna. The confidence you have in your dogs to just run down on a on a bear and not get and fucking this antenna, you can go fucked. Miles. Yeah. Now they're 260 from us. Like That's what just goes. The cats are cool. Yeah, paralleling us. I still don't think it's jumped. Mm -hmm. I got three cats. Let me shut the truck off see if I can hear them. Three cats, five dogs. Okay, it might be jumped. <laughs> it, <just> jumped? <laughs> it might be. It sounded loud. You know they jumped it whenever they're just going at it. They're running. Like, and they're running fast, Roaring. too. Yeah. But they've not treated it yet. Got no, a rag doll? Yeah. They're chasing it. They're in pursuit. I got a blue seal rag doll. Yeah, I got a lynx. They're showing stop like they might be treed. Oh, they're all bunched up. Yeah, let's see if they pull up treed on the Garmin. On point, rangers treed. I believe they caught it. You think they did? I think so. Uh -huh. And now it's time for the fun part. The dogs have officially treed a bear. And it's time to equip my weapon of choice. Which is my Lynx legal dog, not, not an actual Lynx. I love this gun because it doesn't weigh anything. <laughs> not, not a, a real fucking Lynx. Sling. It's hands free. Not, not a fucking, I need that to. big ass fucking no scary now, ass. They're cool though. We gotta get down to that bear. W school shooter, yo chill. It's Marco. Oh my god. Yep. As for the size of that one, what do you expect? Yo, they're really finna oh, snipe this nigga, bro. Sure, I wanna get down there and get a better look at him from it. Pretty little bugger, ain't he? Yeah. Now, although it doesn't look like it, this bear is actually a cub, and it's way too small for us to take out. Oh, not a shooter. Not a shooter? Not a shooter. But that's all right. That's, that's yeah. the warm-up bear. This is what we call catch and release hunting. Right not here. a shooter. He, he, has, he has mercy on the jits. Yeah. Let him vibe, bro. Go kill his mama or some shit. Go kill the daddy. Go fucking murk his mama, bro. 
<laughs> Yo, that's such a fucked up way to look at it. Yo, that's so fucked, bro. Bro chilling, living his life. He thinks he got saved. No, do they know they're about to fucking eviscerate his mom off this planet. Oh, that's tough. How do you get him to come out? Whoa. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, why? No. And just like that, the bear's gone, and now it's time for us to head back up to the okay, hill and be getting ready to I thought the dogs were going to go crazy on that motherfucker. I thought, <laughs> I thought they meant we can't, not a shooter, but we can fucking let the dogs maul that little nigga. Oh, okay, we good. We good. All right, we made it back up. First bear of the day, and it's uh, not even 9 o'clock. Letting the dogs get some water. Not even hot. 9 o'clock. <laughs> I may get down there with them. <laughs> Let's go find another. I believe you, gang. But at this moment is when we had a wrench thrown in our plans. Or in this case, bro, you look like the son of Resident Evil Seven. This truck was not going to make it much further. We got ourselves in a little little problem here. I just had a idle pulley go out here, and uh, I replaced it and fixed it. Now the other one over here is going out, and it's making a loud noise. We looked at it; and it looks like the bearing is going out in it. So uh, if we keep hunting, there's a good chance the belt's going to pop off. So unfortunately, you keep hunting. It's 11:30. We're going to call it quits early today, and I'm going to hopefully limp this thing back get it fixed this evening but once we do that we'll be back on the road so i bet book a hundred it's getting louder <laughs> oh yeah you're cooked buddy is that it? gg oh, he ripped yet get ready it's happening right now it's happening all right we made it oh smoke i'm not a car guy but i don't think that's good Oh yeah, so what are we looking at here? So you see the belt down in there? Uh, yeah. It's supposed to be a full belt, not a strand of a belt. Maybe Chevy will see this and give y'all sponsorship or something. Chad, would you would y'all be able to fix that yourselves? After a little working on it, Chad, y'all know how to change all oil? Truck. Apparently, this happens like multiple times a week. So with the real point, Mario, they put it pretty down. Oh, they we uh, headed out to Advanced Auto Parts, bought whatever the heck we need. Don't ask me what it was. I know nothing about motors. Uh, Got back on the mountain. Fixed oh, the yes, and belt ready to fuck go no. Out for bear number two. Here we go. Yes, I'm a mechanical. Yeah, you're just a mechanical pussy nigga. Fuck does that even mean? What does that sound like to you? Bear. I don't think it's quite jumped yet, but it's a hot track for sure. If it's not jumped, it will be shortly. We got 30 minutes after sunset to kill it. Okay. They still oh, running it? Oh yeah, they're moving. They're about to pull the big hillside, and typically they catch bears going uphill. Come on, Chad. They're closing in on it. Chad, a piece so bad. Are they in the bottom of the hollow? Yeah, the very bottom. Know what that means, Chat? Chat, y'all dogs got trackers on them. They stopped right when I told you Debo came in from behind. Uh oh. Uh oh. May went in a hole. Maybe mm -hmm. losing the GPS on my cat, and it went dead silent. Do you hear that? Mm-hmm. Maybe there's behind a big rock. I sure hope so. Is it weird or So if they are in a hole, they're not too deep. You think they potentially like went in the mine? Yeah, potentially. Now we don't know what's happening. We don't have a clue. So we need to go back out there where we were and just move on to their location. Move quick on foot. After a tracking system lost communication, GG. we knew that the dogs had- They got captured by Wendigo, nigga. Hole which if you don't know, is essentially a man-made cave built to mine coal. And in this scenario, it doesn't take anything for a bear to get a dog back in the cave and kill it just like that. So we literally sprinted 900 yards down the mountain so that we could hurry up and get to this bear. 
As soon as we got towards the bottom, the bear busted out of the hole. Oh, shit! After the dog. I didn't get a clip of it because I... <laughs> the bottom, the bear... Hey, yo! The hole and started coming after the dog. I didn't get a clip of it because I was a little behind, but Kirk said this bear was actively coming after the dog. Oh, <laughs> shit, he on BT. Oh, he's going up a tree. He's going up a tree? I'm going to pull it back and kill it. Okay. Where do you want me to go? All right. See it? Yeah, I see him. Oh no. That is wild. There he is, guys. Dogs got him baited up right there in the fork of that tree. He said, get ready for a shot. I'm in a pretty perfect spot. He's broadside. I'm gonna try to put it straight in through the shoulder. Should be a perfect lung shot and you should go down. We're just tying up the dogs like we did earlier today so that if the bear does come out and still has a little bit of life, it won't be a problem for the dogs because they'll be tied up. I got him in my sights. He said, come on, man. Ill cams, that's tough. Said, if he moves, go ahead and take him. Whenever I'm ready, here we go. Jesus! Again? No! Oh, fuck! All right, guns up. Is he down? Is he down? Hold, hold him. If that was a black man. Police would have put like 50 bullets in that motherfucker. Talking about, is he down, nigga? Nigga put one bullet in a bear, bro. Holy fuck. All right. You think he head tapped that nigga chat or what? It's you smoked it. Sweet. Smoke that nigga. Oh my goodness. Hit him in his chest. Sir, it's a four. Is it? Yes, sir. Sweet. Fat sucker. He's as big as I am. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. dude. That was an awesome hunt. There we that, go. I don't get any fun. That right was there. a that was a sprint. Yes. Too. Down not easy stuff. We had no other choice but to kill him. No. He was mean. I held the dogs back in the tree. No, you had you you had a choice. <laughs> <laughs> you had a choice. You could have walked the fuck away against my plan. Because if I'd have pulled him back, yeah, yeah, yeah we had no other choice. I was ready to move, but he fell. Bro, stop playing, nigga. Over there. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh gosh. Drag this little fucker. That's the buzzer, son. The buzzer. I shot him through the other side. That's the exit. Good shooting. Sweet. I don't know if y'all remember Sweet. the video where I went bear hunting in Idaho, but that was a spring bear, meaning it had been hibernating all winter, burning off its fat. So it weighed a whole lot less. This is a big fall bear. He's been eating all spring, summer, and fall yep. just so that he can hibernate. Imagine getting out of hibernation. Like you like you hibernating and shit. Like, oh, Ready to live. You know what I'm saying? Ready to start my life again, bro. You got spawn camp, nigga. You got spawn camp. Hey, and what? GG's. Yep, probably so. Probably so he's as fat as he's gonna get right now. Uh-huh. Big old nice boar bear, man. You can't beat that. Congrats. <laughs> Once we got the bear gutted Pretty up. Pretty damn gnarly. 600 yards out the bottom of the holler and finally got back. Pretty god darn the gnarly. Loaded up the dogs, loaded up the bear, and headed on back to the house. So, uh... Mm. We yep. just got home and Jesus. baby, my little girl, that bear got her through the nose. But she was still down there barking at it, not letting up, yeah. giving it at all. You know, they love it. They love it. But it's like she got bit in the face by a bear and she loved every second of it. <laughs> and she'd do it again tomorrow, but I am. Probably scratched a little bit. That's that's already swelling, so mm -hmm. we got some antibiotics. Probably scratched and, uh, that. Pain medicine for her and get her taken care of. She, she mad gangster she's though. Shivering. She's cold. <laughs> we'll get her inside. She <laughs> mad gangster though. Retire her. <laughs> Yo, she got she got a she got a battle wound, bro. It's time to head on back to Kentucky and let's cook this thing up. Now before we get started, here's the ingredients we're gonna need. Bear stew meat, which is basically just muscle chunked up, an onion, couple cans of beef broth, brown gravy mix. And noodle, and of course salt and pepper, or however you want to season it. And we're going to put that bitch in a rice cooker. Do most of it. Crop pot. First thing, we're actually going to take the stew meat and put it in a pan and actually fry it a little bit. Now we're not trying to cook it; we're just trying to get it brown on the outside. After we get that done, we're going to transfer the stew meat out of the pan and into the crock pot, where we're going crock to put it for eight hours. Next, we're going to crock a pot. Onion, chop it up, dice it up into little bitty pieces. I love onion set. To the crock pot. Then we're going to pull out a crock pot of gravy mix and just put that all in there. Then we're going to come in with our salt and pepper, whatever other spices you think you might want and then add in a can of the beef broth and go ahead and stir it all together we're gonna put the lid on the crock pot and we're literally crock gonna pot. leave this thing alone until about seven hours later and seven hours seven later which hours. is one hour before it's fully done this is when we're gonna put in our noodles once we put in our noodles we basically stir it every now and again 
and here by the eight hour mark, everything should be good to go and the noodles and meat should be cooked perfectly. Yeah, I'm gonna get me a bowl up when that find out real quick. Yo, why the food never look appetizing, bro? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> God damn, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Quick, <laughs> that tastes ain't good. It is mega thick, which may not be bad at all. Bro, that's slop, bro. That is jail slop, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's slop, bro. Yo, look at some YouTube tutorials, bro. Yo, putrid, thank for the sub, gang. Yeah. Look at some YouTube tutorials, gang. Yeah, this is crazy. This is chum. Mr. Age, me and the vegan community would like to notify you that if you continue watching this madness, we will start a petition. Peter has been notified as well, lawyer up, you swine. You said Peter's in this bitch. This right here. It's a piece of steak. This is a cow right here. It's a cow. A cow was fucking de destroyed, eviscerated, slaughtered, torn asunder for this little piece right here. Let me show you what you do with a little piece like this. You take this little piece. See a little piece? Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, a little bit more. Oh. W cow in the chat. W fucking cow in the chat. Oh, my fault. My fault, Peter. My fault. My fault, Peter. I ain't even, I ain't even seen you over there. My fault, gangy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the bear's tender, and that's important. So here we go. Nice little. Nice one. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Is it good? Mm-hmm. It's really good. Now, Kirk did give me the recipe to make that, and I did, I, I tried my best to stick within 80% of the actual recipe, so. It's good. Yeah. It's, 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 you think it's Jack? Kirk for making this whole trip possible. Click right over here. W. Kirk. Check out his channel, or right there I'm on the top Kirk. left, to watch me go deer hunting with pistols for the first time ever. I fought with Kirk.